Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to unlock the unique Garden Gnome outfit. This is a unique wardrobe item, and there's no trophy tied to this, but I'm gonna show you how to unlock it, and you have to find 10 collectibles. Now first, let's go ahead and start off this quest, and it's actually a secret quest. In fact, it's not even gonna show up in your quest log. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the seafood restaurant right over here. We're on the northern part of San Francisco along the coast, and we're gonna get out. Let's go ahead and show you the map here. As you can see, we're over by Fisherman's Wharf, kind of at the base of it. And right next to where this research point is located is going to be the start of the quest. We're going to find a secret laptop up uh, in this area over here. So to get there, we have to actually take out our jumper. And we're going to send it underneath the stairs just ahead of us. And there's a little hole that we can drive into. And this leads you to the research point as well as the location to start this hidden quest. So right here, you'll see a garden gnome. You'll see the uh, research point there you can hack. And you'll see a laptop. Now, if you get up close to the laptop and uh, hit your uh, touchpad and toggle the camera, you can actually get in a position and see a map. On this map, you'll see 10 circles, and that is the location of 10 hidden gnomes. Now, on this map, you'll also see two X's on the top half of the map. The one on the top left there is where we're currently located, and the other one to the right of that is where we're going to end the quest after we get all ten of the gnomes. Now, first, you've got to make sure you interact with the laptop, so you're going to have to hit the triangle button, hold it, until you get this untracked quest you see in the top left corner there. And if we go to our DedSec app, there are there is no quest, but it is a quest nonetheless. So we're going to go and find all 10 of these gnome locations. So we're going to start off, we're going to kind of go from the north, head south, and we're going to go into this restricted area over here. Because it is a restricted area, I like to just use my jumper to do all the dirty work for me. That's how I completed many a quest in this game. So inside of this little uh, wooden structure is a garden gnome. We're going to pick it up. All the garden gnomes have green hats. And uh, we're going to move down a little to the south and to the east. And just to the left of this park over here, we're going to find the next one. And we're going to have to actually go down a little alley here. And then in front of us, we're going to jump over this fence and climb up this ladder. Now we're going to use our jumper here uh, in two different occasions. The first, we have to unlock a uh, one of those uh, red panels. So we're going to find a control panel down here. And we're going to unlock this. Now once we've done that, we have to move on to another location nearby. So we're going to go put our jumper away and climb up here. You can follow the blue wire at this point. And you'll see there's a entry point here in the vent. So we're going to open it up and we're going to send our jumper in through there to grab this next gnome. Now, a couple of these are going to require the enhanced spring jump. That one doesn't. You can uh, do a d two jumps to get up there. But we're going to just follow our way to the end here, and there is yet another gnome. So number three, traveling a little further west here, right at the Tenderloin. And you see a fast travel point here at the pawn shop. Just fast travel there, and you'll literally be right in front of this building. It'll be right in front of you. Just go inside of it. On the right-hand side on the shelf is the gnome. Pick that up. All right, so now we're traveling to the uh, far east side of San Francisco here. And this one's going to be on top of a building. In order to get on top of that building, we're going to have to find the, uh, the lift, which we can find one over here somewhere. So there it is. Go ahead and control that and then move it over to this building here and then lift yourself up to the top. And over here, there's a nice little cool display. There's a teddy bear drinking beer and a bunch of gnomes. Looks like a nice little fun party that we were not invited to, so we're going to take the gnome. Now we're going to head to the next one. This one's actually over. Uh, this is where you have to kind of go to the, the garden area that's above uh, above the city, above the ground level. So to get up there, you're just going to follow these stairs up. I'm just going to take a bike to make this quicker. So we're going to go to the top deck. And there's a nice kind of garden area up here. Now this gnome location is uh, pretty well hidden. It's actually going to be 
uh, surrounded by uh, hedges that's going to be kind of in front of us here. So we're going to have to jump into it. So we're going to get out. I suppose if you don't have the enhanced spring uh, unlocked, you can just bring a, a vehicle up here, a large vehicle, maybe use your jumper to get up on it. But the enhanced spring will let you jump into this little uh, secret area where there's some sort of cult thing going on here. So on top of the box is the green hatted gnome. Pick that up. And now we're going to head just a little south from that previous location. So this one we're going to take this uh, kind of a tall vehicle here. Park it next to this fence. And then use our jumper to jump into the uh, area there where the homeless people are with the tents. Once you jump there, you'll see this little uh, bathtub, I think it is. And then there is the green gnome. All right, so a little west of there, we're going to just travel over uh, to another location. This one, you're going to need another lift. This one, you can actually find one just across the street. So bring it over here in front of this uh, Mexican food sign. And then just lift yourself up here, follow this to the end, turn left. You'll see it in the corner. There it is. It looks like there's a bear peeing in the, the other corner. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But now we're going to go just a little further west again. This one's going to be inside the uh, restricted area there where the money bag is located, which I should start picking those up. Uh, because this is a restricted area, I'm just going to use my jumper once again. Uh, look for the hot tub. It's kind of in the center of this area. So I'm going to jump up here and fail a couple times. <laughs> Probably could have just gone around to make this a little easier on me. There we go. So right there, sitting at the edge of the hot tub, is the garden gnome. Now we're going to head just to the west of the Painted Ladies. Now we're going to find this one on uh, up some stairs. We're going to have to travel up. So go through this alleyway. This is next to the donut shop where you'll find the donut man. So just keep following these stairs straight up and you'll eventually run right into the garden gnome. It'll be right in front of you. Excuse me. And there we go. All right, so now there's one more in Oakland. First nine are in San Francisco, one in Oakland, over by the Blue Marina. Now, this one's actually kind of a little tricky. We have to kind of go underground, follow a water passage. So you can see the arena over there. We're going to take these uh, stairs down. This is going to be a restricted area down here. I cleared out the enemies. Some gang members that were down there. So now we're going to follow this underneath the road, follow the water trail here. And on the left-hand side, you're going to see a couple boats. And I'm going to try to make a dramatic jump over to the uh, left there with the motorcycle and <laughs> fail pretty miserably there. So all right, just swim yourself up. And for some reason, I cannot climb up onto this uh, little platform here. However, if I go a little to the left, for some reason, I can jump up there. Anyways, you'll find this gnome in the chair. And then you'll see, once we pick this up, the quest is actually going to be completed. You'll see the pop-up here in the top left corner. So now that we found the 10 gnomes, we have to go to the final location. If you looked at that map, it was the X to the right. And that's going to be right up over here. And there's going to be a little park. In this park, in the top of the park, is going to be a tent. And it's going to be inside the tent, right next to the money bag. If you get close enough, you'll see there's a clothing item collectible uh, icon as well. And once we uh, pick this up, we're going to have to use our jumper to go in there and, and pick this up. You'll see a little pop-up saying wardrobe has been added. So first, got to deal with this homeless guy who is in my way, which is often the case in San Francisco. If you've ever been there, you'll know what I mean. All right, so in the corner next to this laptop, pick that up. Clothing is added to wardrobe. That's it. That's all the 10 uh, gnome, secret gnome locations. Now all you need to do is go to any clothing store or go to your wardrobe in your headquarters and uh, go to uh, your shop here. So let's tab over to wardrobe. Go to miscellaneous. 
And each category has a gnome item with the exception of glasses and bags. There's no uh, gnome item, but there's a top and they're all going to be uh, listed named question mark exclamation point. So that's the top. So back up, let's go to bottoms next. So it's the first one there, question mark, uh, exclamation point. Of course, there's a green hat as well. And we got some croc looking shoes here as well. And then the final thing is going to be the mask that'll complete the entire ensemble here. So how awesome is that? I want to thank you guys so much for watching this guide. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the up button and subscribe.